Hey there, I'm Jen. Welcome to my shop, Sentimental Wood Art. Come along and join me on my woodworking journey as I create things that just touch my heart and make me smile and learn to get more creative with each adventure and project that I dive into. Can't forget my puppies since I'm a dog walker. I hope you find something that generates an idea for you. This is Jace. He is one of the puppy dogs I walk every week. He is the sweetest thing ever, and I really wanted to make his dad a wooden pet name. Now, he is a German Shepherd hound dog mix, so I'm really having a hard time coming up with an image that will work for him. Plus, he loves to give people hugs. As soon as you walk in the door, he jumps up and gives you the biggest, sweetest hug. So, one, finding a dog who is standing on their hind legs has been problematic. Two, the German Shepherd Hound Dog combination is tough. I, <laughs> I'm trying to cut and paste different pieces of dogs together to see. And I'm actually now realizing that this is a Weimaraner that I'm cutting onto his head. So I'm not sure that that's going to work. I may need to Google hound dog silhouette just to get those ears and the snout. Just so. Because it really is very distinctive for him. I found a hound dog silhouette and was able to take the ear off of that silhouette and put it on to this picture of a German Shepherd that I had found. I wasn't sure if this is really going to do Jace justice, but then I found just a straight German Shepherd dog standing up. And when you compare, it just doesn't quite fit Jace. A little bit, yes, definitely in the tail and the body. I feel like that fits him. But the ear and the snout is just not quite right. I'm going to play around with this a little bit more and see what I can do. did some old school cut and paste here. I took the feet off of this guy and then just put it in. Let's see if I can get it to go closer and actually still show up. So I taped it there and then I taped the ear there. What do you think? Does it look like him? There he is. Oh, he's so cute. And I'm thinking walnut crotch for the coloring of him which I think will work great. I happen to have this scrap that fits. Yay! So I took a ruler and drew a line to make sure that everything was where it needed to be. I think what I'll do is I'll go wide when I'm cutting because it looks like some of the A is below the line, some of the J is, but his feet aren't. So I'll have to compensate for that. This is a weird 
J. And it, I feel like it needs a hole there. So it's like when you do the swoopies, it actually looks like a J because right now it looks like a T. So I'm going to try to make that. And I'm noticing that the only connection for the dog here. So this is going to be really delicate. A little worried about that. I wonder if I can make this make the J a little fatter. It's pretty fat as it is, just so it's touching there. So it's not so delicate. I'll have to think about that. I was trying to decide what color for a Jace. This is a dark Danish oil. This is natural, and then that's poly. And I'm thinking there's really not a ton of difference, and I have a lot more dark, so I'm going to go with the dark. The finishing touches are always so important. This mop sander that I attach to my drill press really makes a huge difference in how things look when it's all said and done. It's also very amazing that once you get over here in this light, I can see where I didn't do the greatest job with my blade on certain parts of the scroll saw and you can see where the cut mark is. So that gives me the opportunity to check the ins and the outs of everything. And also remember when you're sanding, you've got to go in various directions so you don't see the sand marks either. It's all in the details, Bob.